All right, my dudes, I am going to help out Ted here uh, and just make a quick little tutorial for how to play sound effects and have them trigger when you touch a specific area in your Unity project. First, I just want to give a shout out to Tickle Me Elmo. Anyways, in my little example right here, I've got a box I'm going to be emitting my sound from. On the box, I check this is trigger in the inspector panel. That sets it up as a trigger so that then I can go into my uh, C sharp file. I created this one called sound trigger. And here in the class, you want to import a public audio clip uh, sound trigger, or not import, sorry, you want to define uh, yeah, public audio clip, and you can name it whatever you want. That's going to be how it uh, references your, your sound effect. Audio source, I named mine audio source. That is just a component which we actually import down here in the start. Uh, so basically you define it audio source equals get component and then audio source in the brackets that just brings in the functions that you need in order to play and mess around with sound effects then I made a private void in here I said if trigger sound does not equal null then it plays a sound effect basically this is just making sure that if you don't have a sound effect uh, uh, applied then your game won't crash. This void, by the way, on trigger enter. Yeah, that's. I found that in the Unity documentation actually, which I referenced down here at the bottom. So, in here, if they pass that, if they do have a sound effect set up, then audio source dot play one shot, and then in parentheses, you define what sound you want. So, you say trigger sound, you know, the sound that you named, and then you say how loud you want it to be, defined in floats. So, I did 0.7 floats. Then you go back to your box, you drag and drop that script onto it, you'll get a, a blank here, and you can drag and drop your sound into that. And that's the sound that will play, obviously. So here you go. It's pretty basic. When you touch the little circle that you defined in the box, then it plays that sound emitting from the box in three dimensional space. So that should be pretty helpful for you guys. Peace.